Hi, my name is Carrie, and I'm an intern at Chris, the Casco Regional Invasive Species Partnership. I'm here at Nori Point on the Hudson, and I'm going to talk to you about one of our priority aquatic invasive species. Eurasian water milfoil was introduced from Eurasia in the 1900s. It was widely spread through aquarium trade and is now found all through the U.S. in 33 states east of the Mississippi River. Eurasian water milfoil will grow between 3 and 10 feet long. Its leaves grow in a world pattern and there will be four of them. On each leaf is between 12 to 21 leaflets, which you can see here. Uh, it has a very delicate feathery look. When you pull it out of the water, the leaves will collapse. Eurasian water milfoil grows readily in areas that have been altered by human activity. This includes polluted waters and waterways that have been physically altered. It grows in thick masks that block out sunlight, which other native species need to grow. It is also a huge recreational pest as it comes up on beaches and it can be stuck in boat rudders. Luckily, Eurasian water milfoil is not heavily infesting our area, so we can take precautions to stop it from further entering. If you are boating, it is a good idea to clean clean your boat and this will stop it from moving from one waterway to the next. If you are fishing, you should also take precautions and clean your equipment. Information on this can be found on the web. Control methods include hand pulling and mechanical control. You should pull it early in the summer and repeat this a few times throughout the season. This will most likely need to happen for several years. Several biocontrol methods are now also beginning to be used. These include the veneer moth, grass carp, and the weevil.